Uh, we have to get to our next guest, though, who is inarguably a bigger star than either of us. Mm. Uh, you know him as a football star. He started off as, a, I believe, a running back uh, for the for Cleveland, was it? Or who was it for? Well, oh, USC, first of all, won the Heisman Trophy. And then, was uh, it a Buffalo? Oh, it was Buffalo, yes. I, you know way more about sports than I, I know do. that. Uh, and uh, then segued into commercials for Hertz, I believe. Uh, and uh, also... Uh, Some became, luggage. Became a, a, a major uh, movie presence as well in the Naked Gun films, as well as uh, some other things. Uh, please welcome to the show, O.J. Simpson. Hey, thank, I want to say thank you, Scott. I want to appreciate you uh, for bringing me onto your platform. You know, my pleasure. I, I got to be honest with you. I had a lot of time on my hands, and and I, I started to love the show. I loved it. Uh, I I listened to so many of the episodes, and I really got thank a you. sense of. We've done six hundred or so. Yeah. How many have you heard? Absolutely. Uh, oh, hundreds of them. Hundreds. Uh, absolutely. Wow. I, I have. You know some of the my some of my favorite people have been here. I love the way you talk to them, your interactions with them. Mm. I love everything you do. Thank with you them, so Scott. much. That's I really so nice. do. So uh, c- congratulations to you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. I mean, yeah. I'm a, a, a mutually uh, a big fan of yours. I, I admit that. What? I admit that around the early 90s, I sort of uh, dropped out and didn't didn't really keep up with your career, but uh, certainly up to Naked Gun two and a half. Uh, Absolutely. I don't, yeah. I, maybe even the third one, I was still paying attention. 33rd and 3rd. <laughs> I'm not sure, 33 and 3rd. That's right, Scott. And then right. I'm not quite sure what happened to you, but it's great to see you resurfacing. Well, you know, and, I went through some things. Everybody has trials and tribulations in their lives. Oh, I bet they hey, do. I'm back now. I'm happy to be here. Thank you for giving me a platform. You're a major Twitter it. presence now, from what yeah, I Yeah, I got on the Twitter, you know. Uh, my daughter was telling me that I had to get on Twitter. You have a daughter? And yes, I do. I have a daughter and a son. Are you married? I can't recall. <laughs> no, I'm not currently married, Scott. Not currently. Okay. Yeah. Well, you were at one time? I was at one time. Okay, I've great. had two wives in my life. Oh, uh, great. Now, Jimmy. Yeah. I, hey, Angel. I, hey, hey, Juice. I, I heard you saying Orenthal. something. Orenthal. Uh, yes, that's right. Orenthal James Simpson is my name. San Francisco, California is my birthplace. Now, Jimmy, I heard I really you thought mentioned. I was going to rhyme. I was kind of bummed out that it <laughs> didn't rhyme, Juice. You rhyme as much as this guy I know, MC Sugarbutt. <laughs> Hey, you know, I've heard those episodes. Oh, and really? Then I, read an, I read an article, Scott, that you said that that gentleman wasn't that good of a rhymer. <laughs> and I just wanted to dispute that because I have a great time listening to those. Well, you have a great it, time listening. It takes me I... back to some of my favorite party days of the 1980s, sure. listening to that type of music. But he's the kind of rapper who rhymes boat with boat. <laughs> <laughs> Is you that know, fair to say? <laughs> sometimes, Scott. Okay. Sometimes it's fair, but not all things in life are fair, Scott. That's Jimmy, true. you said you went to go see I, uh, Some would Gump. say our court system is not fair, <laughs> not, uh, but uh, yeah. sometimes I mainly am reacting to the Rodney King verdict. I anyway, know. go ahead. We'll go along. Uh, you, you saw uh, Forrest Gump <laughs> in 1994. Uh, yeah, when it came out. You know, it, it, Great year. I was probably, I probably start, stopped paying attention to you. Because I was paying attention to Forrest Gump. It was a year of my life. Yeah, I saw yeah. that so many times in the theater. I didn't watch a lot of TV. Anyway, go ahead. I'm an older gentleman. You know, I'm in my 70s. I was around in 94. Your friend should have told you to go watch The Mask with Jim Carrey. You like oh, that movie, movie, Juice? I love that movie. I love that movie. I may film. have seen that. Maybe I already had seen that. Maybe. Yeah. I, I mean, well, The Mask, uh, I have to say, came out in 93, I believe. Uh, yeah. Summer of 93. Yeah, uh, maybe still was It did because uh, uh, Jim Carrey had such a year. He did Ace Ventura in January, I believe. The Mask in the summer of 93 and then Dumb and Dumber at the end of 93. But uh, he could have certainly rented it on video. He could have rented it on video. Or, uh, Are you looking it up I'm on looking your phone it up as right to whether now. I'm right or wrong? Scott, I think. I wouldn't upset him. Oh, look at that. Oh, you're right, 1994. Oh. I got the year totally wrong. See, Scott, sometimes you got to learn not to dispute me, you know? <laughs> I... Sounds vaguely threatening. No, right? not at all, Scott. You take care. Now, you take care. Jimmy, Jimmy I... Uh, yeah, Juice. I... Uh, you you could have seen City Slickers too. Mm-hmm. I don't think that was a good friend. The way he told you to go and see a movie. You could have seen. Yeah, you could have seen City Slickers. Now he, again, he did say it was the best movie I've ever seen. So I think he was trying to do me a solid, as they would say. On I NYPD understand. Blue. I've yeah. been through a heartbreak in my life. Oh, is that right? I tell you that much. It is not really? fun to go through those type of things. Yeah, it is yeah. rough. Isn't it? I mean, you know, you just start obsessing over like what different choices you could have made. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everything. Uh, you know, rela- mm-hmm. relationships come and go. Jimmy, Scott. Yeah, they certainly you know? come, and many of them have gone. Yeah. Now, Scott, I, I, I don't want to take up too much of your time here. Oh, thank you. But you're on for a good, uh, nice segment here, so I'd love to have you on as long as, you, as you'd like to be. I'd love to be here. I, I'm, really, I'm just really thankful for it, Scott. I, I tell you, those times that I used to watch your, your games – 
just making those runs into the end zone. <laughs> you know, Scott, I averaged. You have no clue about football. <laughs> None. There's an end zone in football. There's, there's, an end zone. there's an end zone. Scott, you got that right. See, Scott, one thing you got to know about me, I was a running back for the Buffalo Bills, and then oh. for the, later in my career for the San Francisco 49ers, which oh, I got right. to play for my home team. Oh, and that was a real dream. joy for me. Mm, yeah. You know? Uh, I met my second wife when I was playing for the San Francisco oh, really? 49ers. Really? Yeah. What does she do? <laughs> well, Scott, you know... I don't want to get too far deep into that. Oh, okay. Well, you're uh, not together anymore. No, so we're we not don't. together yeah, I'm anymore. I'm sorry if I brought up something yeah. painful. Mm. Uh, uh, but I tell you, uh, I averaged 11,000 yards. Now, let me tell you something about ego, Scott. Okay. Uh, you know, the other day I was I was going around talking about that's running. Almost half, that's like two-thirds of the way to an uh, EGOT. Yeah, yeah. Three quarters I, of the way. I never made it there. I yeah. never made it. I which, thought, ones, which ones do you have? I thought I deserved I don't have any of them. You have the, <laughs> I, I thought I deserved If you were, if you were an EGOTH. You would, with a Heisman, you would have I could, one yes, of those. If there was an EGOT, I would have a Heisman. Mm -hmm. uh, I thought I deserved an Oscar for playing Nordberg. Nordberg. In, in the uh, Naked Gun mm -hmm. film. But, you know, it didn't work out He's that so way. He's so incredibly lovable and clumsy. I love the part of, uh, I believe it's Naked Gun, where he's wearing that ski mask. Uh, and he's uh, he's sitting there uh, about to break onto the boat where all the criminals are, and he's disguising himself with a ski mask. Yeah, that was one of my favorite scenes. You like yeah, that scene? So close to home. Yeah. Now, Scott, when it you comes, filmed that when, close to home, I that filmed that. We yeah, we did actually. <laughs> we filmed that scene in Marina Del Rey. Oh, which wonderful is area, close to my house. You know, over in Brentwood. In Brentwood. Yeah. Oh, is that where you were? It was where I was living at the time. Oh, I, really? I no longer have that house. Uh, it was a beautiful estate. Uh, mm, it's a gorgeous area. Yeah, great. You know, lived down the street from Michael Jackson. I tell you that much. Oh, great uh, guy too. Uh, I felt guy. I, I stopped paying attention to him too. Listen, I don't get <laughs> I don't get too far into people's personal things, but I will mm. say this: the man was always nice to me. And there was one time where I had my niece was over to my house, mm. and she loved Michael Jackson. It was the '80s. <laughs> All the kids did. Oh, you know? of course. And so she came over, and I called down. I said, "Hey, Mike, why don't you come down and say?" hello to my niece and he came right down and he saw my niece and he said let me know when you have your nephew come over he said that yeah <laughs> and, uh, interesting and th but that was what the kind of jokes that we story. had you know that was the kind of jokes that we had back in I those don't, days I don't it understand was the, the 80s. Joke, it was but, uh, 19 well, she, he signed an autograph for it you know oh, but okay. he just said you know he I'm loves sure the children I understand it, but, he's uh, a children guy you know <laughs> I don't know but he was, uh, a, he was always nice to me you know people yeah. go through trials and tribulations Scott that's uh, the thing is like a lot of people and I don't pay attention to pop culture that much, but a lot of people uh, don't realize what celebrities are going through when they're in the news. They don't realize it, Scott. The media paints you in a certain way. I'm sure you've had some things said about you that you don't sure. love, Scott. There's trolls everywhere. There's trolls know? everywhere, Scott. That's right. Okay, you take care. Now, Jimmy... <laughs> Wait, is that it for me? <laughs> Jimmy, I uh, I wanted to ask you something. <laughs> Should I leave? <laughs> yeah, you can go. <laughs> you've, right. been, you've, been doing a, you've been doing your podcast since I have, Juice, 2006, yeah. huh? Yeah. That's been a long time. That's now, right. do you ever get worried that some things you said in the earlier days of your podcast... Yes, I do. Uh, yeah, and, and but yeah. you just got to kind of leave them out there. Well, they're you? out there. already out there. What am I going to do? Go back and edit all those? No. Exactly. I agree with you 100%. Yeah. Certain things in your past are just out there. We all have know? things that we're not proud of. Uh, I'm sure... Oh, we, Scott's back. Hey, Scott. Oh, sorry, sorry. I, I don't mean to interrupt a <laughs> private conversation between the two of you. No, no. I just relate to Jimmy a lot. I see, Thank you, I see Jimmy that? in me in a, in a way. I don't know I, if I'm comfortable with I've that. I've always kind of felt like, Jimmy, you're the OJ of podcasting. Uh, a trophy winner? <laughs> sure. Then thank you. <laughs> Uh, so what have you been up to lately? Well, you know, I I was I was recently released from prison. Uh, what? I think people know that. Yes, I went to prison for what? For something really silly. You know, well, these what, guys what? these guys uh, they stole my memorabilia, someone, some stuff that felt really near and dear to me. Someone stole something from you? Yeah, somebody. So, my why freedom. did you go to prison then? I went to prison because I went to go get it back. It was a lapse in judgment. I made a mistake, one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made in my life. So what, you just got going, your stuff back? Huh, I, ju I went and I, I got my stuff back, but it was some sort of setup, and the police were there. I ha I was drinking at the time. It was Las Vegas. Uh, you know what they say. Things what happens that, in and Vegas stays in Vegas. Yeah, but I tell you one thing, they extradited me. They brought you up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And oh you know, gosh, that, that was horrible. probably the biggest mistake I ever made in my life. How long were you in for? I was in prison since uh, 2007. 
seven, I want to oh say. My God, yeah. That's a long time was for a, something you know, so inconsequential. Like, it's almost as if, like, a lot of times you hear about a situation like that, and they're like, oh, well, it's justice for something else that happened. Yeah, but, but you know, that's not how the system works. Yeah. So they, they, they sent me up. They sent me up the river for trying to take back my own things. But I'm out now. I got a new lease on life. I'm on Twitter. Do you have I'm a new lease on a new place because you're not there in Brentwood anymore? Yeah, yeah. I, got, I got a new condo. Uh, I got yeah. a new condo. <laughs> I heard you guys talking about uh, the comedy condo, and I tell you yeah. one thing: the condo that I'm living in right now has a lot of jokes all the time with me and my friends <laughs> playing fantasy time. football. That's right. Who are all your right, friends Scott, these you days? Take care. Huh? Wait, hold on. <laughs> Did you since you dismissed Scott? Oh yeah, I do have a question. Are you golfing? Are you hitting the links? Or you know, I'm on that golf course almost every day. You are. Okay. I'm enjoying retirement. You know, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. that that's basically what you do every day. Retirement from prison. Yeah, it's been a long. Long career, you know. Uh, I will say the, the prison thing, you know, going to prison was one of the biggest mistakes I ever made in my life. That and not cutting left against the Cleveland Browns oh boy. in 1977. <laughs> I tell you that much. <laughs> uh, when you say yeah. when you said not cutting, uh, I knew what you were talking about because I knew you would immediately follow it with left uh, because of that famous Cleveland Browns game. Yeah, I cut right and I got tackled right oh, then boy. and there. Yeah, and you know we lost. But I tell you one thing about those Buffalo Bills: there's a resilient fan base. You know, it, it's been a history of losing over there in Buffalo. Yeah, but they're a resilient fan base. They got amazing love for you, and it's a great place yeah. to be. Must be All nice right, to Scott, meet you. Take care. Okay, well. <laughs> Jimmy, take it, take take, take over from me. How, how's the golf game? I'm going to go back to that. Are you are you shooting well, Juice? Or are you, you, you know, struggling because you were in prison for so I'm long? I'm struggling a bit. Are the muscles tight? The muscles are tight, and you know we're aging every day, Jimmy. Oh, we are, yeah. uh, and we're getting older and, and and getting colder. That's what they say, you know. <laughs> I've never Gold heard that, blood, but I'll agree tell with you. you. And, and 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 it's it's hard for me to get my swing exactly back, but mm-hmm. I'm on the court every day. The weather is warm in Los Angeles right now. I'm having a great time. It, the the grass is greener on the other side. I and see. I tell you that much, and I'm walking along that green. All right, Jimmy, you take care. Oh, wow. Am I back? <laughs> You're back, Scott. <laughs> okay, great. Um, so, who are your friends these days? Because uh, I remember uh, back in the old days, I remember you had a lot of really good friends. Like, uh, uh, d- uh, I mean, it's been amazing to see uh, what Kim Kardashian has been up to because you were such good friends with her father. Absolutely. Robert was one of my great friends. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I want to dispel a rumor right now. Okay. Because this has been something, you know, I told everybody when I got on Twitter that I was going to be getting back and getting even. And, oh, you did? Oh, yeah, okay. And, I wondered and, what that meant because, you know, like I said, I had not kept up with you and I was like, who does he yeah. need to get even? With? I wanted to spell it. Robert Kardashian was one of my be- uh, very best friends. Okay. I met him at USC in the 1960s. Mm. Uh, he was a great guy, and he married a, a beautiful woman named Chris, and she was great, and they had a, a host of beautiful children, mm. Robert Jr., and Kim, and Chloe and Courtney, and, and they're all great girls, and I love what they're doing now, but I want to dispel this thing. Me and Chris have never had any type of relationship. Any type? Any, any, and, 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 so not, not even friendly? We were very friendly at one time, and you know, some things changed, but people grow apart. And Robert passed away. They grew apart, and they had a great relationship when they were together. And uh, but but there's this rumor floating around that I'm the father of Khloe Kardashian, and really? I just want to say that's not true. Let's dispel that rumor right here on Comedy Bang Bang. Okay. Yes. Oh, when you say Bang Bang, it sends a, a chill up and down my spine for some reason. Oh, why? I don't it's know. Because I, don't I say know what it with it so is. much vigor. You know, I haven't I don't know done, what it is. Yeah. I haven't done much radio in my life i tell you that much i was more of a tv and film guy yeah but i'm happy to be here this is yeah. great all right scott you take care now <laughs> okay, you have a good well, one i don't know who's supposed to talk to you now about. jimmy yeah yours have you ever had any of the kardashians on your show i've not had any of the kardashians they uh they seem to be spending time over on e ah Network. yes yeah and you don't work with them too much huh i don't know the e or the kardashians the e's uh, no, I, well, I've done, I did some work with E's early on, but I not uh, not so uh, much recently, just. Now, when you're warming up an audience yeah. for, a, for a, a live talk show, yeah. now, uh, how what happens if, if the audience does, do you do your normal material or do you do a lot of crowd work? Well, you try to do the crowd work, you try to bring them in any way you can. You try to get them and you uh, want invested. That audience, am I right? You want the audience warm because uh, uh, a, a body that's enjoying itself and that is alive yeah. is very warm. You if, want, a body, if a body were cold, that's the last thing you want is like a couple of cold bodies. Oh, you don't want that. You, you know? said it, Scott. You said it. You hit the nail on the head. I tell you that much. You hit it right on the butt. Uh, is Scott, that where you usually want to hit things? 
things is just right on the on head. The head. Uh, you you want to hit things wherever you can hit them. The chest a few times. <laughs> Uh, but I tell you this, guy. Those are those are gorgeous. Uh, you're wearing a couple of gloves right now. Th- those are gorgeous. Isotoners. I still, they, you know, after I went to prison for uh, stealing my stuff back, I lost I lost a lot of my endorsement deals. Oh yeah. And but Isotoner, they stayed with you. They stayed with me. Did they? Yeah. Well, that's a sign of a great company. <laughs> they, they, <laughs> loyal. They got a good product. Shout out to loyal. Isotoner. And those, and those shoes too. These those are, yeah. Bruno Mollies. <laughs> Bruno Mollies. I thought I recognized that. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, once you get comfortable in a certain brand, mm-hmm. you gotta stick with it. And I, I, I will say that you you're you're kind of like fiddling with your gloves a lot, as if they they don't quite. I don't know what the expression would be. Well, you know, I've if been if the if the if the, uh, the the way that they wrap around your hand, they don't it, fit very well. Oh, that yeah. is true. Mm. I, I think I got a wrong size, Scott. And you know, I've been playing a lot of golf, and yeah, like like we said earlier, we're aging. Now I'm getting a little bit older. I'm in my seventies. Yeah, I, my hands blood, tend to swell up. Yeah, a swelling up a bit. Mm. Yeah. And so, so those gloves they don't. Uh, was, how how did you put it? They don't fit. <laughs> okay. The gloves. They well, do then not we, fit. you know what you have to do. Get new gloves. Get new gloves. Yeah, And exactly. I, I got a call over to the Isotoner guys. They don't have a website. I got a call <laughs> Isotoner over Isotoner does not have a website? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It seems like, just call up Squarespace. It's 2019. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Look, they have beautiful templates. <laughs> and you can <laughs> customize that? anything with just a few clicks of the mouse. Really? Yeah. Square, on Squarespace. Yeah, Squarespace. You should get a website. I should get a website. Scott, what do you say we go in on a website together? I would love to do a the Scott dual Ackerman, website. Dot com. Oh, I would How's love that? to have that. So uh, I'm going to call up Squarespace and get Scott Ackerman and OJSimpson.com. <laughs> and we'll we'll just start putting out content. Boy, uh, that's, that sounds like a ball to me, Scott. You take care. <laughs> okay. okay. Now, I guess I'll call you when it's done. <laughs> Jimmy. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> Doing a podcast for this long, and I remember when those podcasts first started, it yeah. was just a little box that popped up on my iTunes where I had a lot of my music that I like from my day. You know, what do you like? The OJs, uh, <laughs> this, the You only like bands that are your own name. <laughs> I like the OJs. I'm a big That's OJs it? fan. <laughs> okay. Did you like Orange Juice Jones as well? I liked Orange. I saw you and him walking in the rain. Well, right. Right. Let me tell you, that would have made me mad too if I saw my lady walking in the rain with some other gentleman. I, but, you know, that's another <laughs> conversation for another day yeah. uh, hey, let's promise me we'll have that conversation because i would love to hear your thoughts on that matter. absolutely we will scott I, th- yeah. I just want to thank you for letting me be here scott uh, it's always <laughs> great to have you in fact you know what i'm i you, you've been out of the news for a while but uh, uh i i'm gonna do a little research on what you've been up to recently because i'm uh Please I, do. I really uh I, during the break we have to go to a break here but uh, oh, no. I, i'm gonna do a little a little research on you and uh, see what you've been up to uh but uh, when we come back we have a vocal coach so this is really Exciting! You have such a great voice, OJ. And he's uh, back. I'm back, baby. And he's back, baby. The juice is loose. <laughs> All right, Scott and Jimmy, y'all take care. Okay, stick around though, because I'm I'm gonna do a little research on you. 